In this video we will consider equation of this type, which is often appears in the internet now. Uh, actually it is a specific case of more general equation, where in the right hand side we have real number n, which is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. First we consider the usual way to solve this equation. The idea is to use Euler's equation for complex numbers. Uh, which state that e to the power i theta is equal to this sum. Then uh, we take for theta value 2 pk, which, where k is integer, and plug in into Euler's equation. And we have this right-hand side. We use the fact that sine 2 pi k, where k is integer, is equal to 0, cosine is equal to 1, and we have here the answer that this exponent is equal to 1. So we can represent 1 as e to the power i 2 pi k. Now we use uh, this equation here, we replace 1 with this exponent, we multiply the power with x, and we have another form for this equation. Next step is to take natural logarithm from the left and right hand sides. The left hand side we can represent in this form, and the right hand side remains log 3. Then we are almost done. We divide it all with i2 pi k. We multiply here numerator and denominator with i, then we will have this equation. And this is the answer. Of course, here k not equal to zero. Solution looks very easy, but unfortunately, this solution is not complete. It is incomplete. And why it is so? we will consider right now. Let's uh, return to our equation. Here is some results which we obtained previously. And now uh, we took the reason from both part of this equation, uh, but uh, we will take a logarithm which is defined on the domain of uh, complex numbers. To define log z, we will use polar representation of complex number. Here uh, this is a modulus of z, and uh, theta is argument of z. Using uh, this notation, uh, log z is equal usual logarithm z plus i argument of z. If we add here i multiplied with uh, 2 pi times integer, we will get the same uh, complex number. We can add this, where m is integer. Now we take as z1 to the power x, which is represented by this exponent. And we go step by step, follow the definition of uh, log z. So, we consider x as a complex number. a and b are a real number. i is imaginary unit. And then we plug in x to the equation for z. We multiply first i b and i 2 pi k. i times i will give us minus 1, so we will have this exponent. Then we multiply a with this term, and we get next part. So if we compare what we have with what is here, we can see that modulus z equal uh, this exponent and argument z is 2 pi k a. We can use definition of log z. So we have here such expression. Log of exponent is the usual natural logarithm 
for real numbers. So we move this down and log e equal one. So we can rewrite this equation as the following. What we have, we have a left hand side of our equation. Now we can see the log of three, considering three as a complex number. Then we will have, using the same definition, we will have this, uh, the following result. Argument here is absent because for real numbers, argument equal zero. So now uh, we know the left hand side and right hand side of this equation. We can plug in here what we know and equate both sides. This is left hand side and this is right hand side. As a next step, we will move this term to the left and factor i times 2 pi. Now what we see? We see here, in the left hand side, we see the imaginary part. Here there is no imaginary part. So to be equal, we need to equate this part to zero. So we have the following equation for a. Here k, m and n are integer. We move m and n to the right and divide over k. Uh, right hand side is integer. We denote it m. Now we divide over k and we have the following answer for a. m and k are integer. Next step is to find b from this equation with uh, this term equal to zero. So we have what remains. We divide over negative 2 pi k and we have uh, this answer. k not equal to zero. We recollect that x equal a plus ib. Plug in here a and b. We will get the following answer for x. So this is the answer which we were looking for. This answer is different from that which was obtained previously. And the difference is the presence of the real part of x. Here x is imaginary number, here it is a complex number, it has a real and imaginary parts. So this answer is more general than this one. The bottom line that we have this answer for the problem with k not equal to zero. It differs from the answer which we had previously. We can generalize this answer for uh, right hand side equal n, where n is any number greater than zero and not equal to one. The answer will be the following. The difference will be just that instead of three, we will have here n. The answer obtained by previous method is equal to this value. So the problem is solved completely. If you like this video, you may want to hit a like icon, leave a comment and subscribe for the channel.